Hey everyone, Michael here to show you a quick way to share videos using Google Photos. Now, the reason why I do this is because I'm sure you share this same pet peeve where you go to receive a video from someone that doesn't have a phone that's like yours and the video looks like this. It's all jumbled and mangled and you can barely even make out what's happening on the screen. And so the reason why I love Google Photos is because you can share videos at high resolution, high definition, and it'll come out just as clear as you created the video or the video you originally saw on your phone. So the best way to do this, I'm gonna walk you through it, is you open up the Google Photos app, as you can see, this is mine. And let's just say I want to share this video that I've created down here at the bottom, the flowers video that I created. So go ahead and click on it. I'm not necessarily gonna let that play for too long, but you're gonna click on it just so you can see these three buttons at the bottom, right? Those three buttons at the bottom. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna click on the one on the bottom left, which is this share button right here, like three little dots with lines connecting them. You click on that. And so what you're gonna see is what's called the share sheet where it's gonna give you options on how you want to share the video. At the top, there's a certain specific way you can send automatically within Google Photos, and these are people that already have Google Photos on their phone installed and ready to go so you can quickly and easily send them photos, and it literally takes about um, not even two seconds to send a video that way. That's the quickest way and easiest way to do so. And if you have a contact that has Google Photos already, you're just going to click that contact's name and be able to send their video right there and just say, hey, check this video out. And then just click send. And as you can see, it takes two seconds and it's automatically right there without any delay or anything. But let's just go back. Let's share it a different way. So I'm just going to pause that for now. Hit share. Now, Let's say I want to share it in a regular text message. That's how most of the time um, we want to share videos, right? So if I want to share it as a regular text message, I'm going to click the messages, link, messages button. And as you can see, you get three options on what you can do, right? The most common option that I suggest most people to use when you are is using the create link option. The reason why I say that one is because you can't assume every single person uses Google Photos, right? Let's say if they do, that's great, but if they don't, um, the best way to be able to share a video is by clicking the create link option. And now what this does is it creates a link for that video so that you can share it. So let's just say I want to share it with my mom. And so as you can see, it automatically creates a link for you so that when you send it to this person, they'll just click on the link and be able to see the, the video. Just, I'll show you how that works out specifically. So if I wanna say something like, hey, check this out, and hit send, it's gonna show up as just a regular link, like you go to a website or something. So when my mom goes to click on this link, she's just gonna click the link, and if she has Google Photos installed, it's gonna, it should automatically open up Google Photos so you can actually see the video right here in its full high resolution. But let's just say she does not have Google Photos installed. What this will do is once she clicks on the link, it will open up her preferred browser, whether it's Safari, Firefox, or Chrome, whatever browser, whatever app she uses to browse the web, it will open up the Google Photos website with that link and it'll look just like this with the video on the inside of it. And she can download it if she wanted to. She could obviously watch it within the browser if she wanted to, right? Or you could, on your end, you can add more people by clicking on the plus button at the top here next, that's next to my face here. Click on that plus button and you see that share sheet once again so you can share it to people that are within Google Photos or share it in specific apps that you may want to use or create another link. But that's a short and quick, easy way to be able to send and also receive Google Photos uh, or actually videos inside of Google Photos. Um, I think since it's free, um, it doesn't even take up space on the other person's phone when you send it to them uh, within Google Photos or by using a link. But it's great. You get free cloud storage, uh, and it's really easy to use. Um, if you have any other questions, of course, please 
like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions but uh, i plan on making another video for the iphone on showing how to send and receive photos using google photos to people that don't have an iphone but again thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one